Hi everyone, it's Miss Lisa. I have some questions for you. How do you know when to go to bed? How do you know when to eat lunch? Do you just guess? And if you guess, what happens if you're wrong? I'm going to show you how to tell time so that you never will be wrong. And we will learn about the different types of clocks. Here's some vocabulary words. This is an analog clock. It kind of sounds like ants on a log, analog. And then we have the digital clock, digital. Next, we have the time segments. The first one is second. It is the shortest amount of time. It takes one second to say one elephant. Next are the minutes. There are 60 seconds in one minute. So if you said one elephant 60 times, it should take you a minute. Next, we have the hour. An hour is 60 minutes. A day is 24 hours. Then we have the hour hand, and this is the small or short hand on a clock, and minute hand. This is the big or long hand on a clock. There are two types of clocks, an analog clock and a digital clock. And when telling time, we refer to it in hours and minutes. Both types of clocks show the hours and the minutes. They're just in different ways. A digital clock displays the time of day with numbers divided by a colon. The hour is the first number or set of numbers that you will see. The minute or minutes are the second set of numbers that you see. The hour on this clock is on five. The minutes are 32. So we would say the time is 532 and we would write it like this. This is an analog clock. Analog clocks look like this. They have two hands, a face with the numbers one through 12 and some dashes on it. The numbers represent the hours and the dashes represent the minutes. The analog clock has two hands, a short hand and a long hand. The short hand is called the hour hand. It is read on this clock and it tells us what hour we are at. The long hand is called the minute hand. It is blue on this clock, and it tells us how many minutes we are into the hour. The hands are turned by a mechanism on the inside. If you look on the picture on this slide, you can see a green wheel and a red wheel, and those spin to make the hand spin. When we tell time on an analog clock, we look at the hands. We read the hour hand first, which is the short hand, and the hour hand is pointing to the four. Next, we look at the minute hand, which is the long hand, and on this clock, the minute hand is pointing to 12. Whenever the minute hand points to 12, we call this o'clock. Therefore, the time on this clock is showing four o'clock. The clock face. Here's a picture of a clock face with the hands removed. You will notice that there are 12 different colored triangles and each one has a number which represents the hours of the day and five dashes inside of it. The dashes are the minutes. If we started at the top of the circle and counted each dash all the way around, there would be 60. You may be wondering why 60? Well, because if you remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour. There are also some numbers around the outside of the face of the clock, starting at double zero and going by fives all the way around the clock. Those represent five minute intervals. This is good to know because it will help us later on when we're trying to figure out what time it is. Here's the clock face with the hands put back on. 
both hands always move to the right. We call this way clockwise. It takes 60 minutes or one hour for the hands to move all the way around the clock. When telling time, we always read or say the hour first and then the minutes. On this clock, the hour is in the space that the small hand is pointing to, and it remains the same until the small hand moves over to the next triangle. And if you're not sure what the minute's pointing to, you can count the dashes. On this clock, the hour hand is in the space occupied by number 10, and the minute hand is pointing to the fifth dash. So we would say that the time is 10.05, and we would write it and say it like this. There are 24 hours in one day. It is divided into two halves. The first 12 hours we call daytime and refer to this as a.m. The second 12 hours is called nighttime and we refer to this as p.m. We can break the day up into four parts. Morning, noon, afternoon, evening, and night. Think about what you do during the day. Perhaps you play outside in the afternoon and watch a certain TV show at night. Let's try telling some time. Most people get up and start their day in the morning. This is what the clock might look like. The hour hand is on the seven and the minute hand is on the 12. So we would say it is seven o'clock in the morning and we would write it like this. This is what the clock might look like when you're eating lunch with your friends at school. Both of the hands are on the 12. So we write 12 o'clock and we say 12 o'clock in the afternoon or you can simply say noon. This is what the clock might look like at dinner time. The hour hand is on the six, the minute hand is on the 12, so we say it is six o'clock in the evening. We would write it like this. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. This is what the clock might look like at bedtime. The hour hand is on the eight, the minute hand is on the 12. So we would write eight o'clock and we would say that it is eight o'clock at night. Quiz time. Okay, what type of clock is this? If you said digital clock, you are correct. What type of clock is this? If you said analog, again, that is correct. What time is displayed on this clock? If you said three o'clock, that is correct. What time is it? Remember, we say the hour first and then the minutes. Did you say 913? That is right. Practicing telling time. You can make your own clock to help you. All you need is the template from our resource page, glue, scissors, something to color your clock with, and a brad. Um, a brad is like a big thumbtack, and then another piece of paper. You could color your clock in the hands before we begin, or you don't have to, it's just something fun to do. Next, you're going to cut out the clock and the hands cut around the solid black line of the clock face. Then, once you cut that out, you're going to glue the clock face onto the other piece of paper. And while you let that dry, you're going to attach the hands of the clock with the brad. Stick the brad through one of the hands first and then push it through the next hand. Both of the hands on the brad, we're going to attach it to the face of the clock. Stick the brad through the center circle on the face of the clock. If you flip it over, 
it should look like this. It should be pointing straight through the paper. Next, we're going to open the arms of the brad and push them so that they're both laying flat. Turn your clock over and ta-da! You just made a clock. Practice telling time by changing the hands to different hours, different minutes. You can ask someone to help you with that and tell you a time and then you can show them it on the clock. Um, it's a very fun thing to do when you're learning how to tell time. Oh look, it's six o'clock. I know this because the hour hand is on the six and the minute hand is on the 12th. That means it's time to go. Thank you for taking the time to view what time is it. And remember to check out Poplar Creek's resources to learn more about telling time.